guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome, Cross Watchers. For those of you who are brand new, happy to have you join us. Be sure to say hello in the comments. I do see them and reply. Um, let's see. So those of you who are here as Gemini Suns, hope you had a lovely um, birthday season. We are crossing the threshold into cancer season, um, which occurs right at the same time as the, sol the solstice and followed the next day by the full moon in Capricorn. So lots of energies are shifting. I'm going to pull from this brand new deck by Colette Baron reed Guides of the Hidden Realms. This kind of grew out of some paintings that she, you know, she just took a paint class and messages came through and figures came through and Hay House got a load of it and said, why don't we make that into a deck? And yes, here we are. So this is um, the card that wanted to appear for you. Card number eight, Grace Within the Chaos. The messages are about accepting life's complexities. Yeah, life is messy. The seduction of distraction. So there is this figure. I don't know if you can see. She's kind of got what feels like a tiara. Um, hard to see. But I love this. The grace within the chaos. Card eight. Let me. I love the eight. Um, numerologically, let me go ahead and read it to you right out of the guidebook. It says, every day you awake is the gift of a new beginning. Will you decide to walk through chaos with grace or get spun out by that chaos? You can choose to express yourself with love or with divisiveness. In pain and heartbreak, you still get to choose whether to be present to all life has to offer or to distract and numb yourself in avoidance. Where you place your attention and energy will grow. So choose abundance, gratitude, meaningful activities, self-care, compassion, kindness, creativity, joy, and laughter. Today you're asked to walk with grace, to see through the lens of compassion and courage and take nothing personally. How can you bring your best self to this situation? Can you remain in the eye of the storm and observe the world rather than identify with it? Can you release the need for certainty? Little page of swords there. Expecting the outer world to behave the way you think it should? Acknowledge complexities and nuance without trying to force a change. It's time to wear the world loosely around your shoulders and have a sense of humor. All will be well. You are exactly where you need to be. Trust that this chaos is temporary. So we have a little hint that there might be some chaos afoot. Um, yeah, I love that sentence. Wear it loosely around your shoulders. The complexities of life. I've got a fan on, so little hairs keep getting blown in my face. <laughs> Um, it's a bazillion degrees here. I'm sure it is wherever you are too. Yeah. So I love the message for you there, Gemini, especially after the whirlwind of Gemini season and all the planets moving into Gemini and now swiftly moving out. Um, energy moves very fast during Gemini season. In my opinion, that's my personal experience. Um, and you know, it's like, any vortex stuff gets spun up and spit out. So we kind of have to go with the flow. Okay, here we go. I'm going to pull my split soulmate spread, give you my general impressions. We'll get details from the clarifiers. As always, remember, this can come through reversed. Ooh, nine of pentacles. A little focus on the self, um, your autonomy, your independence, your ability to sort of via the laws of attraction draw to you all your creature comforts. That's a nice message. Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay, so <laughs> you've been on your own. Whoever you are, the Nine of Pentacles is a single person of the tarot. And now that I see what's unfolding here, the focus is on a shift. 
we just got done talking about that. I feel like your person here stepping into the reading with the Three of Cups is seeking some form of reconciliation, but therein lies the blocker challenge as well. So they might want that, but they kind of want it easy breezy style, right? Something social, very, a little on the superficial side, right? And yet there's a need to kind of come in and make this triumphant return find the middle ground, bringing that wreath of peace like an olive branch if needed. Um, and there's a little blocker challenge around that. And the opportunity for this person going forward is to just take the action. Mm-hmm. You stepping in here with Knight of Pentacles, it's like, I'm in no rush. If something's going to come toward me, it better come to stay. And I'm not moving any faster than I feel comfortable. I'm fine on my own. Your blocker challenges around this open and receptive energy. Isn't this interesting? So we have a divine masculine and feminine archetype unfolding here. Um, and it seems to me like there might be some challenge around your openness to this what seems to me to be some form of a reconciliation, a coming back together. <clears throat> maybe just the terms of your connection and your opportunity in the near future with King of Swords is to kind of um, uh, look at it from the point of view of, I want to do the right thing. This is honor and integrity, on honesty and truth. Um, King of Swords is also the ultimate strategist of the tarot. And what's good for you to know is it won't require a lot of your communication. It will require selective phrasing i know so if you're here as the gemini that's a whole new <laughs> realm for you but the king of swords doesn't have a lot to say but in the few words he does say and i'm only saying he because it's a king um it's it, it packs a powerful it, like it lands very powerfully so be selective about what you say and as long as you're coming from honor and integrity and honesty and truth and all of that intention to do the right thing say the right thing right we're good that's what your opportunity is hmm seems like the emperor is going to meet his match so let's look at this nine of pentacles Nine of Pentacles again, Page of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. There is a part of, I mean, this is the overall energy for the reading. There's a part of, of you coming through that's like, nah, I'm good. I'm good where I am. I'm good on my own. And yet the Page of Pentacles is like, because I, you know, I've got, I've got something to learn. It's like taking that first step in a new direction or in a new environment or in a new situation. Um... And it feels to me like at this moment, you may have just come through the chaos, right? There may have been grace within the chaos. This feels like grace within the chaos. The, the like, I'm good. Yeah, I can be by myself. That's okay. I have things to do. I have, you know, the capacity to draw to me all, all my desires and needs can be met. I don't need to live in the realm of chaos. And I'm going to take this first step forward and I'm going to be content. So there's a, a real interesting message coming through that seems to me as if you're not as open to the reconciliation that might be coming toward you. For some of you, this will be true. For others of you, maybe not. It's a general reading, not a private reading. So you have to take it as it resonates. I do offer private readings. There is always a link in the description box below that would take you to that information. So let's see for your person. Three of Cups. Oh my gosh. They haven't let go. Um, right? There's a notion here looking at you as the feminine archetype of a life partner. This is something that feels uh, more formal to me. They haven't maybe let go of their thoughts about you in terms of marriage or life partnership even. And that three of cups is that 
coming back together with a cause for celebration. So the Four of Pentacles could represent you, right, being standoffish or held back or guarded, but I feel it's more them holding on to this notion of the way it used to be. The way it used to be. Fun, easy, breezy, comfortable, enjoyable. So now their blocker challenge is the Six of Wands. Chariot, Emperor again. Wow, Six of Swords. So their challenge is about um, the will to push forward, to, you know, make that gesture. The chariot is the will for triumph and victory. The emperor takes action, um, right, is in charge. The six of swords and the six of wands moving beyond a difficult situation, some turbulence or some rough waters you've been through. And this person is struggling with the will. Um, it's not, they, they can envision it, but it looks like they want the easy breezy, you know, <laughs> they want the easy pass on the highway back to you. And it's not that simple. So let's see the emperor in their opportunity. Yeah, if they want the happiness, they have to manifest it. Manifest the healing, manifest the dream come true, the wish being granted, the happiness, that sense of um, coming through something difficult successfully and whole. So in this case, their opportunity is to envision what it is they're calling toward them. Um, this is someone who I feel isn't struggling with their vision of the two of you getting through a rough patch or uh, moving past some difficult energies. They're not having troubles visualizing it. They're having troubles taking the action and having the will to kind of push through. So let's see your, because why? Because they're picking up on your energy, which is like, I'm good. No problem. It's all good. I'm good. And it's hard for someone who might have a very strong ego structure to um, kind of come towards you to plead their case justice, right? If they see you as being sort of standoffish and very independent and no longer in need of the connection, that doesn't mean you don't want it. A difference. It just means you might not feel the need for it and they're picking up on that. So let's see the Knight of Pentacles for you. Four of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Hanged Man. Wow. Well, the message here is like, don't come back unless you're coming back to stay and with a big ass offer. <laughs> like, yeah, nope. Mm -mm. I'm not going to play small anymore. I'm not going to be you know, day old bread in your life. Nope, nope, nope. Unless or until you're coming toward me with an, and I'm not in a rush, right? I'm going to hang out over here is almost the message you're coming through with is this knight of pentacles coming in with an ace with a big offer. And almost as if you're feeling like you've been cheated out of it somehow or rejected or dis, you know, um, uh, dismissed right i'm seeing here some hint of like emotional resentment and everything therefore is on hold for you so in the blocker challenge we have the empress wow I feel like I'm seeing this energy of like, don't even try it unless you're literally, I do feel like you'd rather be on your own unless this person is coming to make an offer for like a long-term committed connection. That's it. You're either in or you're out lovers. You choose me or I'm, I'm, I'm fine to choose myself. Ace of wands is the reigniting of the torch of passion in this connection, the new opportunity, 
right? The inspired passion. The Ten of Pentacles is the future of life partnership. The abundance of building a life together with somebody and it seems like because this is your blocker challenge the mess the take-home message is is if you're not coming in to stay for the long haul don't come at all i'm not open to any other substitutions so i do feel this may be a situation where um those of you that i'm reading for that feel like i'm speaking to you had something on the table this has already been communicated about. Like, I feel you've been there, done that, got the t-shirt, had the convos, had the breakdowns in communication. This is like the do or die moment. You're in or you're out, and I'm okay either way. But I'm not going to take anything less than what we originally spoke about, what we agreed to, what I made clear you know, you have to fill in the blank for yourself. And that's why your opportunity is to be crystal clear in no uncertain terms, no flowery language, no. Small, succinct sentences that communicate very clearly. And the communication is about um, being on the same page at the same time. Do we want the same things? Is there a basis here, uh, like a solid foundation upon which we could build something that could have a long lasting legacy to it, right? I'm not in a rush. I'm not in a rush. But I'm also not going to carry this like an albatross around my neck. So underneath is sort of this unburdening energy, right? Uh, that's going to come from very clear, unmistakable communication about what it is you're seeking at the bare minimum. Are we on the same page? Give it some thought, no rush. Because if you're going to come to me, it better be to stay. That I'm making my I'm making it clear. Not in a rush. Take all the time you need. Just gonna hang out here. So I definitely feel I'm talking to those of you who have had this conversation and there has been some, you know, bumpy <laughs> rough a little rough riding road around this topic. And your person would rather pass it off, patch things up you know, kind of uh, keep things a little bit less serious. They haven't let go of you in their mind's eye, but they're struggling to kind of come toward you with this offer. Uh, and, and not because they don't want you in their life, but I feel it's the, ter the terms, which is why this Three of Pentacles is so important because that's the cooperative piece. That's the co-creative piece. We're building this thing together. What do you want? What do I want? Where do we have those things in common? Where can we, um, you know, compromise or negotiate the terms of how things do move forward, right? Because that's their challenge. And your challenge is about being open to being receptive to um, what comes next. Yeah, very interesting. So I'm not seeing a problem, I'm just seeing the terms um, after maybe some kind of turbulence or maybe a little chaos. That's what I feel I'm looking at, the two of you trying to get beyond something that was maybe a little out of balance. Um, so we're past the worst part, but now we get to the point where we negotiate the terms of how we move forward or not. So that's what I see. I'm going to give you the astrology, uh, before I do that, I'm going to take it to the extended. We're looking at a divine masculine here, the emperor, um, and I'm going to spend my time sort of helping you see it from their eyes. So we're going to look at their perspective, maybe 
you know, their interpretation of what's happening, um, how they see you, think about you, feel about you, their intentions, all of that good stuff. The links to that are below. Always remember, I have two options for the extendeds. One is a monthly, which gives you access to other collections other than just Gemini, um, or the one-time purchase for this extended by itself. So keep that in mind. That is below. Here we go. We have the Nine of Pentacles twice is Virgo. Oh, and if <laughs> the Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. If the reading has spoken to you, if you find them helpful, Please, I am asking you, subscribe below, like, share if you feel called to do so. For some reason lately, guys, the channel's been taking a bit of a nosedive, and I am not sure what that's about. Um, obviously, if you want to see me stay here on the platform, I this is like a relationship. I really need you to subscribe. I need you to watch. Go back and watch ones that you missed. It's an algorithm. No views. I don't exist. And this is the way, like, I come here, I lay it all out on the table, literally, uh, with no expectations of purchase. That is an option. But obviously, if y'all don't watch, I cannot survive here. And I will have to shut down and as I have no other means of support. So I'm asking you, and it's kind of um, very humbling to be in this position, I ask you, if you haven't subscribed and you enjoy my readings, it doesn't cost a thing, just subscribe, okay? So then we have the Queen of Pentacles is Capricorn, Justice is Libra. Cancerian energy in the chariot. Of course, our emperor is here twice, that's Aries. The star is Aquarian energy, the sun is the sun. Rules a sign of Leo. We have the Knight of Pentacles is Virgo. Hanged man is Neptune, which rules Pisces. The lovely Empress is Venus, Taurus, and Libra. Lovers is Gemini. Nice to see you show up in your own reading. Um, the King of Swords is Aquarian energy. And that Knight of Pentacles actually came out twice, Virgo. So that's what I have for you. Thanks for joining me. I'm headed to the extended now. I'll see you there in a second. Bye for now.